When a young mother has breast cancer, it's impossible for her to do all the things that she wants to for her family. Deb Silverman tells us how a local survivor created a group that steps in when a mom gets breast cancer. Cheryl Jennings of Coleraine Township is recovering from surgery when she was first diagnosed with breast cancer. And I was very emotional. I would just lay in bed and cry because I could only think about my children. She worried about what this would mean for her husband and her three children, Sarah, Michelle, and Justin. With the side effects with some of the chemo and the shot that I got afterwards, it was very painful just to get up off the couch and walk. How would she have the energy to play and do homework? How would she keep the house clean and cook meals? Everybody coming to me, Mom, what's for dinner? Mom, what's for dinner? I'm like, that dinner is the last thing that I want to be thinking of right now. <laughs> then Jennings learned about a group created by a Springdale mom who survived breast cancer twice, Jocelyn Banks. All the stories are very much the same. I want to play with my child, and but I'm tired, or I don't want them to be scarred for life by my experience, but I don't know how to talk about it. Thanks to donations and grants, Banks now runs a group called Mommy Has Breast Cancer. It's through the organization Pink Ribbon Girls. People who participate receive age-appropriate books for their children that explain what their mother is going through. Frozen meals are delivered. They are delivered through UPS, and I just pull them out and pack them into the freezer and when everybody asks, but hey mom, what's for dinner? I'm like, it's right there in the freezer. Pull it out and stick it in the oven. A cleaning service comes once a month. They clean the, the upper house. They did my bathrooms. They swept the floors and mopped them. You know, all those other things that I would normally do, they did that for me. And that took the pressure off of me of having to do everything. <laughs> this way, Jennings doesn't have to use the days she feels good to catch up on housework. She can focus on what's most important to her, her family. Deb Silverman, 9 News. It's a great story, isn't it? To learn more about the services Mommy Has Breast Cancer provides, go to our website, wcpo.com.